Chapter 5 Season 3 is going to be massive. We are going to see the return of the Seven and the Foundation because they know that the Fortnite Island is vulnerable because yet again, another war is about to break out very soon between the society and the underground. And the Seven knows that what happens every time there's a war on the map, just like what happened in Chapter 3 between the Imagine Order and the Seven, when everyone was destroyed distracted the enemies was preparing to attack and that is exactly what led to the destruction of the chapter 3 map and now after being absent for one whole year the foundation and the seven have learned their lesson and now they're ready to return back to fortnite now to understand this we have to go all the way back to chapter one please leave a like subscribe and use code smjm the war between the imagine order and the seven has been going Going on for thousands of years. The very first time we heard anything about the Seven was when the visitor arrived on the Fortnite island in this meteoroid. He built a rocket in near Snobby Shores. He created a bunch of rifts around the Fortnite map that allowed people from the outside of the Fortnite island shield to enter Fortnite island through these rifts. And the reason why he done this is to allow the rest of the seven to enter the Fortnite island. And after this, we start to see a paradigm arrive to the island and also the scientists. And finally, at the end of chapter one, we see a huge live event where we saw the seven try to destroy the zero point. And this was the beginning of the end of the Imagine Order. Because in chapter three, we start to see other factions like Midas and his friends attack the zero point and try to take down the imagine order and after defeating Midas the IO had to face at the last reality and also at the time one of their most important agent agent Jones left imagine order and he was the guy who single-handedly saved Fortnite in chapter 2 season 5 and not only he left IO he actually joined their rivals the seven and to make things easier even worse for the Imagine Order, because of the last realities attack, the Fortnite map had to be flipped, meaning the Imagine Order now has to take the fight to Chapter 3, which happens to be the Seven's Island. They even had the Foundation's statue there. But despite that, the Imagine Order tried to take over the island. They even built this huge collider. But unfortunately, the Seven was too strong at this point and for the first time in thousands of years the Imagine Order has been defeated. But just in few months the Seven and the Foundation learn that getting rid of the Imagine Order was a huge mistake because like I mentioned the Imagine Order has been protecting this Fortnite island for thousands of years. Like every time there was a threat to the island like the Cube or the Ice King, Midas they have dealt with those problems. But now that the IOs are gone and the island is under the control of the Seven, the very first problem they face, which is Harold, not only they manage to get kidnapped, but also the entire Fortnite map gets destroyed. Now, obviously, we know that Harold is the one who actually kidnapped the Seven using the power of the Chrome, but we know that Harold is not working alone she's actually been ordered to do this by someone and I believe that someone is the nothing and the reason for that is because we know that the last season battle pass character bite worked for the nothing there were a bunch of quests that were given to us and also we actually spoke with the nothing through this television and if you look at bites he has the same power as Harold basically having the ability to turn your body parts into chrome and this is why people are saying that Harold is working for the nothing and the nothing is the one who has been planning all this ever since chapter 2 when the UFO showed up on the map and later on we found out that the last reality was the one who controlled the UFOs and obviously we defeated the UFOs and the last reality by flipping the map and people are suggesting
suggesting that this was in fact the nothing's plan. The nothing expected us to defeat the lost reality. And the lost reality it was working for the nothing as well. And the nothing wanted us to flip the map so the seven's headquarter would be exposed. And slowly in chapter three, the nothing took over everything. He sent Harold to finish the job. And Harold slowly took over the map by using the reality tree and the season after he used the chrome power to consume everything and since then the seven and the scientists are in fact being tortured by the nothing and now we know the locations of all of the members except for the foundation and amy was the one who helped us to find the location of the seven she basically built this mini rift gate as an experiment she sent this cuddly teddy bear and then it came out as this a zombie looking teddy bear and she also revealed to us that the scientist is facing the darkest fate imaginable and the only way they are going to be able to save them is to go to that reality where they're stuck and also to do this amy needed like a physical robot body so she created this robot body and this surprised everyone this revealed to us that we actually have been to that reality it is a chapter one map because if you played fortnite in chapter one you will know that we received this skin right here as a battle pass secret skin and at the time we didn't know anything about this it was just a random robot that appeared on the map and also there was another battle pass secret skin that we received a few seasons later that we didn't know anything about as well and that was the prisoner now a lot of people are suggesting that the prisoner is in fact the scientist and this makes perfect sense as well because amy skin showed up in season six and that was the darkness rises season it was the season where we got bunch of zombies on the map and kevin the cube was spreading darkness around the map at the time we didn't know but now we know that the kevin the cube is in fact a technology created by the lost reality who we think Think is working for the nothing and also we saw a lot of skins normal skins corrupted by this darkness like bright bomber became dark bomber for example and even jonesy got corrupted but the scientist got the worst of them all not only he was uh, possessed by this darkness power he was prison and tortured as well now again if you look at this teddy bear that was sent by amy it came back as this zombie looking teddy bear and if you look at the prisoner skin if you look at his face it has the same kind of zombie face and if you look at his body it looks like he's been tortured so i believe that the scientist was in fact was taken back to chapter one was prisoned in polar peak and the nothing told the ice king to keep a watch on him but in season seven we find out that the prisoner somehow escaped and at this point we didn't know how he managed to do it but now uh, we know that amy was the one who helped him escape also in the imposter mode there was a notice board where we had different informations about the seven and on that board we saw the name of the prisoner i think this kind of confirms that the seven is in fact the prisoner and also the fact that amy has successfully saved the prisoner the seven and the foundation this means that they're actually ready to return back to Fortnite. Now, I've got a feeling that Dr. Sloan and Agent Jones knows about this because Dr. Sloan did tell Agent Jones that he needs to stick to the plan. And I believe that huge plan is bringing back the foundation and the seven. And this has to be done at the right time, at the right place. And I believe since chapter five, season two, there's going to be a huge war on the island between the society and the underground the island is going to be very vulnerable and i believe enemies like the nothing the last reality will try to attack and that is when we will see the return of the seven and the foundation and most likely this is going to take place in chapter five season two now we know that there's going to be a live event next season 
And I think this is going to be a huge war between the society, underground, the foundation, and the nothing. Please leave a like, subscribe, and use code SMJM.